how do I love somebody that is making really bad decisions? Hey everybody, this is Chad. I don't know if you've ever had a loved one or, or maybe a good friend start to kind of go off a little bit. I don't know a better way to say that. They just start making some boneheaded decisions. I know actually I had a season of life where I was making really, really dumb decisions. If you've ever had a friendship and tried to maintain a relationship with someone, when they're starting to walk in some rebellion, starting to walk in some sin, it's a really tricky place to be because if you try and push too much, you end up just kind of pushing them away. But if you don't really say or do anything, are you being irresponsible? Are you really loving and caring for them the way that Jesus would have you love and care for them? So today, what are a couple of practical, helpful ways that you can love someone when they're starting to make some bad decisions? Number one, let them know that you love them. I know this sounds cliche. I know this sounds pretty basic, but it never ever hurts to let somebody know that you love them that you're genuinely for them, that you really do care about them. Expressing love to somebody is a great first step when they're starting to make some bad decisions. Just let them know how much you care. Let them know that you love them. Secondly, remind them that obedience to God is actually for their joy. One of the beautiful things about the Bible and, and the way it portrays obedience is that obedience is the pathway to joy. You see, God is not against us. God is not a mean old man up in the sky who's trying to keep us from having fun. He's very much for our freedom and for our joy. And he knows that when we live life according to the scriptures, we are going to find joy there. So it's always helpful to remind somebody, hey, obedience to God is not against your freedom, not against your joy, but it's rather the pathway to your freedom and to your joy. And then third and finally, and this is such a, an important uh, an important principle here. Pray for them and pray for them constantly because ultimately it's going to be the Spirit of God changing their mind, renewing their heart, pulling them back into right relationship. That's what is going to, to really make the change in their life. It has to be God doing a supernatural work in their heart and mind. So continue to pray for them. If you're in that really tricky space where you're trying to love someone who's starting to make some bad decisions, I hope these three bits of wisdom help you today and God bless you as you strive to love people the way Jesus loved us.